What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. So I've been uh, doing some work here. I've got <clears throat> all the 570s rearranged and it's actually pretty uh, organized as far as cable management. It doesn't look like it, but um, I promise you <laughs> I've spent some time on it. Here are all the 560s, all 12 of them, and I'm just running the, uh, the cabling for the uh, PCIe risers right now. But uh, other than that, everything's pretty much as uh, cable managed as that's going to get for now. I'm trying this idea of just hanging all the cards to see if that helps the temperatures. That one on the end is the one that's got the messed up fan. But uh, that's going to be the plan, getting all that up and going. Then it's the uh, 580s, which will go up here. I'll have another rack that's going to sit up top. And then, uh, yeah, so that's going to be the plan for that. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'll show you guys the finished result. Alright guys, so I have uh, everything back in the tent. I just put the uh, 580 rig back on top, you can see it there, and then the 31070 Ti's and then the 1050 Ti is right here. Um, I had another rack right there, which is uh, another shelf, and then there's another shelf that's right there because it's a five tier shelf, but I just placed them on there like that, and the temperatures seem to be doing okay. I'm also going to be looking at getting another fan, uh, just a bigger fan to just mount inside. Maybe uh, two of those big fans, and then you know, have one right here with the two coming right in the middle and then another one right there like the same way and then just eliminating that one all together. Um, but I close off the back port back there and then I just have that one, the side vent open. Uh, the GPUs are placed, <coughs> uh, the fans are on this side for that row and then it's reversed on the other side. I don't know, I think I was trying to see if it would, uh, I guess create like a cross stream of air going across since it would, you know, one side would bring in cool air and then the other side would bring in cool air and bring it across the back. I'm not real sure what I was going for, but that's how it ended up. I wish this thing would stay. Okay, it stays if you Velcro it. But uh, the temperatures have been better. I think the highest temperature now is around like 73C. Uh, a couple cards, one, mainly it's the two cards that have uh, the 120 mil fans on it that actually get up in temperature. And then uh, the 570, or the 580s up here, sit around 70C, and then so do the uh, 1070Ti's, they sit around 69. But you can see how close they are. I'm, uh, I think I'm still planning on uh, putting the other rack in here and then hanging uh, the 580s in the back and then the 1070 Ti's in the front. You know, like 580s back there. Kind of like how I have these uh, 560s. You can see all the 560s, they're kind of staggered. So they're not like right exactly in front of each other. Um, but I'm not real sure. You, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> That's kind of the plan. Uh, I'm not sure if people are going to ask, but this is the ASRock Z270 Killer Board, and it is running 12 cards, and I still have two uh, M.2 slots open, but it's running two U-Bit 4 splitters, courtesy of Brandon. So, thanks Brandon. But I'm running 12 cards on it, not having any issues. It's also got built-in Wi-Fi, so if I want to run, run it on uh, Wi-Fi, like, you know, put a uh, hard drive on there and run nice hash or something. That might be the plan. I'm gonna need to zip tie that so it don't hang. But anyways, uh, that's how everything's looking so far. You know, try to get it evenly spaced all the way around the tent. But I think if I just go two like 700 and something CFM fans directly inside the tent with a single exhaust or the dual exhaust just coming down right in the middle like this, uh, maybe that'd give me a lot more. Uh, I don't know. I think it'll be better besides having these three 400 or 420 inch CFM fans. So that's going to be the game plan, trying that. 
Uh, one of my buddies was saying, you know, try to just put the the two shelves side by side, so like one here and one there, since it's a four by four tent. But I don't. I'm not real sure how it would work because I don't really have a bottom platform. So I don't know. Uh, this seems to be working better right now. I didn't try the other one yet, but you know, uh, it, it's a, it's a, uh, so <laughs> that's where we're at on it. But the temperatures seem to be doing a lot better. Uh, they're definitely not in the high 70s anymore. Like I said, they've been around like 71, 72. Uh, every now and again, it hit 73. Probably whenever I switch back over to Simple Miner and start showing you the temperatures, it'll probably be through the roof because I have the tent open. But I mean, it's relatively quiet in here. Um, there's still that slight hum from all the rigs that you can hear. Well, you don't really hit the rigs anymore, you hear the fans. But it's quieter than just having them all open air. So, yeah. I'm not using the box fans anymore. Uh, you know, I got that rig frame that's right there. I took everything off of, and then obviously I never had a rig frame for the 570s, so the next two to go will be this mint cell frame. I'm not sure. I might just take it off and then try to sell it, but it was a $200 frame, and I don't see somebody paying me $200 for it. So I'm not real sure what the plan is going to be for that. And then this one is just a $4, $4 or $5 little wooden frame that I had built. Um, and then these are the little riser pads. So, which also, these little riser pads come in handy if you're going to just like lay your motherboard flat on something. I've actually got one on each side on this motherboard, so it's not sitting directly on the resin. You will see that it is, uh, the shelf does sag in certain areas, but it's because of all the weight. Uh, the shelf's not melting, so just to go ahead and get that out of the way. It's just a lot of weight, and obviously whenever there's weight and heat, then it makes it a little bit more malleable. I think that's the right term. But this is a uh, a gorilla rack. It's a you know it's a heavy uh, industrial type rack. It's it's not going to melt. It's not going to fall apart. It's ready for like 1,200 pounds. So it'll be fine. I'm not worried about that part of it. So you know if you guys are going to say something, don't worry about it. I've already covered it. But that's how everything's looking right now with the tent. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about getting the fan ordered. Probably I'll order it tonight. But, you know, that's how everything's going so far. So, I eliminated the top rack, so now there's nothing sitting right up top. It's just going to be, you know, the exhaust ports. I still don't have an intake. I'm not real sure if I'm going to go with the intake. That's probably what I need, but I don't really feel like intaking, you know, 7,000 degree heat or a 7,000 degree, you know, air from outside and blowing it in the bottom, that, that's just going to defeat the purpose, so I'm not real sure yet. I never got the AC up and going, so who all knows what's going to happen with it, but this is the tent. It's a 4x4 four by, four by 6.5 foot from La Garden. I got it off of eBay because they had that uh, special going on at the time. It was like, what, 20% off your entire order? So... I'm pretty happy with the tent. It's nice. Uh, you know, it's got this nice reflective stuff in it to kind of bounce the heat back off. And it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know. They're like those little, uh, it's like shoe rack poles holding it all up. But once everything's put up and together, it's got a, a little bit of rigidity to it. I wouldn't suggest, you know, trying to do pull-ups on it, but it works. So, uh, I think that's going to wrap this video up. So if you like it, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be on the lookout for more content. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check out the Reddit, Discord, and Facebook page. As well as Free Hash Friday. So, yeah. Until the next one, guys. Peace! Alright, guys. So, you're going to see this at the end of the video. Because I forgot I was going to do this part. Anyways. Uh, with the tent open, the temperatures actually cooled off quite a bit, but it was because it was just dissipating all the heat outward and not, um, you know, rising to the top. So, actually, the 560 rig and then the uh, 1070 Ti rig were at 65C, and then everything else, one of them was at 69, and then the other two were at 70. But as soon as it, um, <clears throat> the air has a chance to get back in its pattern inside of the tent, 
then everything will settle back down and it will be around 70 uh, or 71 and then you know throughout the night it'll go down to around 69 68 or below so these are temperatures right now uh, I'm still having issues with you know random rigs restarting at different points in time so I also noticed that simple mining updated again today uh, there's now filters and such that you can do so uh, yeah but uh, the 560 rig is actually pulling more mega hash today. Everything's doing, you know, seems like a little bit better. So, uh, temperatures really will help your mining rigs. Like the the colder you can get them, the better they will perform. So that's why I'm going to try to get them down to around 65 C or below her, and I'm going to try to get that fan and see if that will help. But I've already did the outro and everything. So until the next one, guys. Peace.